Jimmy Kimmel is on Jay Leno's show, and Kimmel gives him a really hard time. This was the night after Kimmel did his whole show dressed like Jay Leno. Yes. Then the next night, which was last night, mm -hmm. which I did see some of uh, Leno's 10 o'clock show, uh, Kimmel was actually a guest, which surprised me. Yeah. It was, it was a very awkward situation. Oh, good. All right. So, um, now Jay Leno... Jay Leno's never done an interview that isn't awkward. That's another thing that he's not good at. Right. Whereas Letterman is so good at it when he cares. When he doesn't care, it's horrible. But mm -hmm. when he cares, it's so good. Uh, Leno has, I don't think, ever had a provocative, thought, interesting conversation with a guest. Not mm -hmm. that I've seen. Okay. Certainly not as often. So, let's watch this. It's Jay Leno's 10 at 10, and he's uh, talking to Jimmy Kimmel. Number four, if you got to interview anyone in the world, who would it be? You and Conan, together. Oh, okay. I would like to have the two of you. In fact, right. if Conan won't do it, I'd like just you. In fact, I'd like to do 12 at 12 with you tomorrow night, really? if you would be willing to do that, because I have a lot of questions to ask you yeah. about this whole thing. I don't think people care about what I have to yeah, say. Yeah. I, I agree with that. What's going yeah. on in your life. <laughs> tomorrow night? At tw uh, ah, tomorrow night's bad for me. All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh, it is bad. Number five, you're known for pranks. What's the best prank you ever pulled? Well, I, when my Aunt Chippy was at work, I painted her house orange and green once, and she was not happy. Really? The whole outside of the house was orange. Yeah. <laughs> But the best, I think the best prank I ever pulled was, I told a guy, I told a guy that five years from now, I'm going to give you my show. And then when the five years came, I gave it to him, and then I took it back almost instantly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very good prank. Uh, Very good prank. I, I think he works at Fox or something yeah, now. Yeah, I got you. All right, number six. <laughs> ever order anything off the TV? Like NBC ordered your show off the TV? Yeah. yeah no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, something like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, I will order any, if I see an infomercial more than nine times, I will order the product. I have a, a Snuggie, a Slanket, I have Chia Pets, I have Mighty Putty. I tried to order Ryan Seacrest once, really? but he wouldn't come. <laughs> number seven, you grew up in Las Vegas and hosted the man show. What's the most number of lap dances you've had in one night? Jay, my mother's watching the show, so... Actually, no, wait a minute. The show's canceled, right? Nobody's watching the show. Yeah. My mother's not watching the show. My <laughs> mom's not watching. I'm not much of a lap dance guy. I'm more of a lap band guy myself. Lap band guy. But, um, <laughs> yes, yeah. I don't like... You know, strippers I don't like in general because you have this phony relationship yeah. with them for money. Similar to that of when you and Conan were on The Tonight Show together, yeah, yeah, passing yeah. the torch. Right, right, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yes, I yes. do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> what do you fear most? Uh, volcanoes. Volcanoes. Uh, tidal waves. Okay. Yeah, that... I actually, I lived in Seattle. I, I was scared of Mount Rainier. It just sat there, but I was scared yeah, of it. Okay. Um, I have dreams about tidal waves. All right. I fear the network will move my show to 10 o'clock. Right, right, right. <laughs> I had that nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number How nine. Go? Number nine. Is, is there anything you haven't hosted that you want to host? Oh, this is a trick, right? Where no. You, you get me to host the Tonight Show and then take it back from no, me? No, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm not, not going to. Listen. No, no. Listen, Lucy, I'm not Charlie Brown. I don't fall for that trick. <laughs> no, I'd say. I'd say the Soul Train Awards. Soul I would Train like to Awards. Be the, host of the Soul Train Awards. <laughs> and finally, number ten, A, B, or C. You came on at ten at ten because A, you love innovative satellite technology. B, you're promoting your own show. C, you want to keep me happy in case I decide to switch to ABC. <laughs> it's you know what? It's all of the above, really. really? Listen, Jay, Conan oh, and I have children. Oh, I'm sorry. All you have to take care of is cars. That's right. I mean. We have lives to lead here. You, you've got $800 million. For God's sakes, leave our shows alone. Uh, a plea from Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy, thank you very much, my friend. Hmm. Yeah. I love that. You know, late night television, in my opinion, for the most part, is super boring. Like, I'm never amused by it. It's never funny. But all of this drama unfolding is hilarious. Well, what, yeah, no question. It's, I mean, all of a sudden, you know, I, I want to watch all the shows. Mm -hmm. I apparently don't, but I want to.